Welcome to Umoja News Round. My name is Elizabeth Zipora Akol. I am your news anchor for today's news. And now, starting with the headlines. Museveni meets the NRM MP elect at Chankwanze. The Kabaka spokesperson comes forth to warn the public about the recent events of his illness. The President of Tanzania, Her Excellency Samia Hassan, made her first public address during the week. Let's take a quick look at our following stories. The President of Uganda, His Excellency Yoe Kaguta Museveni, met the new MP elects of the NRM camp at Chankwanzi for a three week camp. In his address to the newly elected MPs, he urged them to fully participate and fully get enrolled into their positions as the new elected members of parliament. We need to collect to, to squander the scarce resources of the country, traveling, 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 traveling. Sometimes I don't want to embarrass my NRM members. So I, I, I hint and I, I talk, hoping that they will understand. And this time I, I, I must tell you, a member of the NRM, I don't want to fight with you, but this time we shall fight. So therefore, this time don't misuse your chance. He also encouraged the security forces to be keen on their jobs, and he insisted and urged them to do more of their jobs as security personnel. A number of events have definitely been going on ever since the rise of the first female president, Her Excellency Samia Hassan. She had her very first public address on Thursday and a lot of literate elites in Tanzania expected her to tackle on a number of issues way back from the legacy left behind by the late John Pombe Magufuli. Namshukuru Mwenyezi Mungu pia kwa kushusha kudra yake kwangu mimi mja wake kwani dhamana hii ni kubwa na yenye mitihani mingi kwa hakika sina budi niombe sana Mungu anisaidie katika nafasi hii as a deed of development she also went ahead to reshuffle the former president John Pombe Magufuli's parliament highlighting people from lower positions to way greater positions in the parliament of Tanzania DGF was suspended early this year by the government of Uganda under the aims of finding out the accountability of its funds. It should be noted that DGF has provided funds for a number of NGOs, a number of CSOs and a number of ministries in the government. However, early this week, JJ Odong, Minister of Security, came forth to announce the uplift of the DGF suspension. And in local news, the Kingdom of Buganda came forth to warn the general public about the ongoing rumours about the Kabaka's illness. This follows the video that made circulation on social media on the celebration of his 66th birthday, where the general public was worried about the Kabaka's health. That's it for this week. We have come to the end of the Umoja News Round. Follow us on all our social media platforms at Faraja Digital Television on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and on YouTube. Don't forget to subscribe. I am Elizabeth Zipora Akol.